Helev to the name rage. No, Helev to the well name. Helev to the well. Hello to the. Hell to the nev. Hello. Hell well. Hell. That's actually really difficult. Think of a sentence right now. Any sentence. Any sentence at all. Now say that sentence by just saying the first syllable of each word. Go. Yeah? You see what see what I mean? Like try. Like 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 yeah, you sound like a dog chewing a toffee. Like like not even a toffee, maybe a dog chewing a wasp that's also been chewing on a toffee. Like <laughs> On the list of impressions that you didn't think you'd hear today, it is YouTuber doing impression of dog chewing wasp that is chewing toffee. So, mod of the week. We have got ourselves an item that is just so deliciously booster pack worthy, it's Honestly, incredible. It really, really is. So, what is it then? Well, bum, 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 bum. Is that not good? A whole new world of bouncy tears. New fantastic ways to play and kill them all day in a wonderful world of bounce. Hey! All new bouncing. Going up and down like hop, skip, stones. We have no bones. I mean, yes, we do. I'm human like you. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Uh, we'll take a change in. Why the hell not? I'm going to play this like an... Oh, God. That is going to be one of the items that by itself most instantly makes Isaac just look... Well, let's just say unhuggable. I think unhuggable's a nice way to put it, right? Actually, is that the nice way? If you were unhuggable, would you want someone to tell you that you were unhuggable? Or would you rather them just say repul- Well, I guess repulsive isn't probably better. Not your hug type? I, I, maybe? But then that just sounds like they're trying to come up with a reason to do it. So, I kind of feel like unhuggable seems- Oh! Not compatible with my arm length and relative average grip strength. There we go. Give me a hug. Sorry, I want to, but I can't. My arm length is not compatible with your torso circumference, and my relative grip strength would be a discomfort to your ability to withstand force. Otherwise, I would love to hug you. I think that's what we're getting at here. I think that's the one. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited, though, because this item, apart from just being really cool to have bouncy tears, does do a lot of very, very cool things. A lot of which I would totally like to show you. But it's kind of difficult because you can only show a few of them at a time. Because obviously once I go too far down the path to committing to a synergy, I can't really undo that. So I'm going to start with one, evolve it to another, and then finally take it all the way to the, the final the final one. The final's gonna have the final one. I realize that this is not, like, mind-blowing or anything, but I just I just want to be clear of my intentions, okay? At the end, we will be at the end. God, first things first. What an expression. Seriously. I mean, you wouldn't, you'd look at someone weird if they were like, yo, we got a load of things to do, we're gonna do the last thing last, and you're like, oh, oh, are we? We're gonna do that? Okay, alright, you know? Like, if you're gonna murder someone, you just mur- So, I, I did something really, really awkward. The other day, not so much awkward. Well, still definitely awkward, but more, more stupid. I, I will admit this one. It's it's been a while since I've done something that's been so monumentally, oh you. But I think I think this one does definitely come close. So what I, what I did. <sighs> so I got a new lizard recently. A little baby Tegu. She's adorable, and I'm really, really happy with it. But I got her a bit of bark, like a, a chunk of log to hide underneath, because she needs somewhere to hide. I mean, that makes sense. She needs to hide in her hide. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, this is all fine and good, but what you're supposed to do when you get a bit of uh, random wood for a lizard is you got to make sure that it's got no parasites, no negative insects, you know, nothing that will actually backfire in any kind of way, you know, because obviously you don't want to end up in a situation where you inadvertently harm your precious little baby lizard, because it's really a precious little baby lizard, I mean, yeah, it's just, just the best. So there we go, we got ourselves some lovely 
pop pop pops going on there. They kind of look like bouncy grenades, don't they? And saying that, we will see the effects of just a little bit of... Uh, Bombage does later on, but you know until then you gotta you gotta make sure that the wood is safe Okay, you don't want dangerous wood and the best way Wow, all right contagion. I guess you just kill everyone. That's cool. And the best way to do that is to put the chunk of wood in the oven and you'll smoke out the parasites Now I imagine already some of you have gone. Oh god. Oh no rage, please and look, all right, I, I did I did research, and I was like, okay, so goes in the oven, and it gets rid of all of them. So I guess I just shove it in the oven on a high temperature, leave it for a while, jobs are good, and that's what people are doing. What, what could go wrong? But, you know, I was like, hang on, hang on, I need to be sensible about this. Yes, I had the thought I need to be sensible about this. And I looked up the temperature that wood needs to be heated to before it might, you know, spontaneously combust. Because, you know, I wanted to make sure I'm not going to do anything silly. And the temperature is 300 degrees, and the oven cannot even get slightly that hot. So I'm like, cool, it's all good. It's all good. So I whack it in there, put on a timer for like an hour, and uh, go about my merry business. Go back to my office. Go check it in 15 minutes. Everything's fine. It's still heating up. Go check it 15 minutes later. Yeah, we're still good. So I'm like, all right, it's been half an hour. It's fine. It's smoking gently. I can see the insects screaming and dying. And Because <laughs> don't you think an insect has got to have like a really high-pitched scream? Like a, ah, as they die. Like even a like really aggressive looking spider would still have a kind of, ah as they die, just because they're so tiny, it's got to be, right? It has to be. And that was really satisfying to see. Also kind of terrifying that half an hour at extreme heat and there was still an insect happily crawling across the surface of this back. Like, you think I give a fuck? I don't care, you freeze me! You what? What is... What does this do? Oh! Does it change how you look? Oh, does it shuffle... Shuffle the appearance of... You're right. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, we're back to Contagion, which is not really what I wanted, if I'm going to be honest with you, but that's fine. So we're going to get ourselves a godhead now, just so we have ourselves bouncing lights all over the place, which I think is very, very, very good. And then we will destroy this floor for all it is worth. So yeah, either way, apart from the immortal you can't fucking kill me bug, it was going pretty well. So I was like, okay, well I'm just gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna I'm gonna get a video done. And I wasn't alone. <laughs> I wasn't alone. I wasn't alone. No, most people who I live with were out. So you know, I was like, it's fine. It's not even gonna affect people. Ah, nah, I don't really care about a little chubby there. That is fine. And uh, I was like, all right, I'm gonna do a video. So I start recording. And then about 20 minutes into the recording, I hear a person get home, open the door and stuff. And I'm like, that's fine. And then I finish recording and they burst into my room upon hearing it and have <laughs> have this like, do you know why there's um, a piece of wood in the oven? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's nearly done. I'm just getting rid of some insects. And then, well, let's just say what followed is someone not very happy with me. I could tell by the face I may have fucked up, because basically what happened when I left it for the half an hour is obviously it started to reach actual temperature, which I didn't really consider it might take a while to heat up. That's why it seemed okay for the first half an hour. And what that person came home to was just the entire house filled with just a little bit, just a little bit of smoke, just, just a little. So obviously they kind of assumed that the house was... um a tiny bit on fire, which understandably is a, is a, yay, look, we got the new item, that's great, which understandably is a panic-worthy situation, um, I would, I would go out on a limb as to, as to say, so obviously that wasn't great, probably should have let them know what I was doing, so they didn't have to suddenly experience that out of nowhere, but that's fine. Alright, we 
we uh, we got past that, so they got home, house just completely full. We got piercing tears now, so it does uh, keep on passing through things. In fact, you know what? While we're here as well, what are we on? Flooded Caves 2, Flooded Caves 2. I will also get bouncy tears, because now we have ourselves them going backwards and forwards, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not wrong, by the way. This item is just really supremely well made. Just seeing it bounce everywhere is truly fantastic. What to you? Super Bowl boing! Oh yeah, that makes uh, occasional tears, bouncy tears. I remember, at least I believe it does that. I think, maybe, perhaps? So yeah, we had to open all the windows and air out the house, and apparently there was loads of panic and stuff. I mean, in the end, in terms of, like, anything bad happening, nothing did. Like, nothing caught fire. It was just a smoking piece of wood. My mistake was not preempting how much smoke it would generate and not having some ventilation, which kind of sucks. But yeah, inadvertently, the moral of this story is don't do something that might accidentally, like, practical joke level, trick everyone you live with into thinking the house is literally on fire when they get home and I'm just obliviously in my office recording. Though, then again, I do admire that they still didn't interrupt my recording to tell me that the house was maybe on fire. So I guess that's... Maybe good? Either it's real dedication to not interrupting me, or they were hoping that I would finally die. I'm not sure which one it is, but I can only hope for the best. So, yeah, probably should have done more research just to correct process when when cooking a log. <sighs> I'm just really happy I didn't see their face when they walked into a smoke-filled hallway and... Oh, and I was just oblivious to it. Oh, I can't. I feel so embarrassed. Like, a lot of the times when I have an awkward situation, I'm like, oh, it's just a me. But this is one where it's not only a, oh, you, you literally, you're a moron. It's also a, oh, God, I'm so sorry. I, like, genuinely, oh, that is embarrassing. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, yeah, I accidentally tricked people into thinking uh, the house was burning down and that I was uh, totally cool with it. That's, uh, that's what's going on. It's not good, is it? It's not good. So we've got ourselves, why is it bouncing? Like, just do 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 That's kind of weird. But either way, what we're going to do with this is grab ourselves and a look. God damn, it's just not good. <laughs> is we do this, and then we have ourselves this luck. Is this not awesome? Because we can keep doing this, every time we hold fire, it freezes them in midair again for some reason, only with this item. So I can just keep exchanging around me all of this. Like, is this not absolutely fantastic? Like, come on, that is so great. Just this sort of exchange bounce in and out. I do need a little bit more range, though, as I've realized that that is something that is currently affecting us. I can't get any more range, can I? Why is it not letting me have any more range? My range is broken! Oh god, my range is broken. So this is the first one that I wanted to show you with this, because it is very, very cool. Just keep every now and then pressing, and you just, just keep getting little hops around the room, almost like I've just got a series of... I guess they could be live animals, right? Every now and then they just hop, check their surroundings, hop again, 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 and eventually do my bidding. I might as well get uh, camouflage. Why the hell not? It's not the most camouflage when my head is literally glowing with power. But then again, I've also seen worse camouflage, so I suppose that is okay? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know, but look, isn't it just great? It's just constant exchange backwards and forwards, especially with the lights accompanying it. I do find it really weird that Godhead, of all things, doesn't glow when you when you have the lights off. It's kind of weird that there's no lighting effects on that. I'm not entirely sure why that is a thing, but it's fine. It's fine. We can still see the glow well enough when it is not not 
in the gloom. Yeah, I think that's the correct way of saying it. We're all good, guys. We're all good. Oh, I, see, I wasn't sure if I wanted to tell this story because it pains me to tell it because it is one of the most like, w like it, it's it's the stupidest thing I've done since I set my room on fire that I was living in in uni by accidentally cooking in a very very wrong and somewhat dangerous way. I'm not going to go into too much details, but needless to say, I was on my computer, and I was in, like, a single room that was half kitchen, half bedroom, half office. Uh, yes, it was one and a half of a room. And I just looked to my right, just, just happened to look to my right, knowing that there was some food on, and saw literal flames pouring out of the kitchen. And I was like, that's not good. That's not good at all. I, huh. That's a fire. Oh my god, that's a- And then I sprung into action and went for it. I think I was watching something, so it took a while to register, but yeah, hi. Oh, it's up there on the list. It is up there on the list of stupid things I've done. Like that time I put my arm elbow deep right inside a pit of snakes. That wasn't good, like 12 of them swirling around. I didn't know what species they were, but I wanted to see what it felt like. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if I fell on my head as a child. All right, so we've seen Bouncy God Head. What I want to show you, what I want to, want to, want to, want to, want to show up, do up, yeah. What I want to show you now, what I want to show you now, is when we add a little bit of a tech X to this. Is that not awesome? It just keeps going round the rings and then spark, spark, spark. And then when I have it around me, that's great. Like, look at that. Is that not freaking awesome? It's just the best. I absolutely love it. What a quality item. See, this is the thing. This is how I know when an item is worthy of being part of the actual game. Like Technology Zero, which, don't worry, is going to be Synergy Labbed, and it is a great one. Oh, my God. And uh, when a one single item can just reinvigorate a run in such a way by just being a sheer awesome joy to play with. That is rare, and it is some quality craftsmanship, and it's just wonderful to see such glorious mod work. It really, really is. So it makes me very, 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 very happy. Now, obviously, a lot of you like to see just a normal run with the new thing, but the thing is... Like, we wouldn't have got to see half of this awesomeness that you can do with this item. Like, would we? Like, absolutely nothing. So, I feel like it's probably good when we're debuting a single item to, you know, whack on the Synergy Lab and actually have a play around with it. See what we can do. See what my cursory experiments doth reveal. Oh, really? I'm surprised that didn't do more damage, actually. That's interesting. But there we go. The death has been complete. Do I care about any of this? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, razor blade just so we can have the odd, odd bouncing razor blade. I think that's probably pretty cool. Careful, you need to die. No, you need to die. And obviously, now that we do have lasers, we've got ourselves a much brighter. Gloom vision. Yes, gloom vision. I do kind of like the word gloom vision. I think that's uh, pretty good. I wonder if I can actually do this whole boss rush without moving off the spot. Just letting that look. Every time they land, the extra glow as the lasers spark up again. Is that not awesome? Just whoosh, 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 whoosh. That's my uh, verbal sound effect for lasers sparking off. All right, it's difficult to do. You try and do a freaking sound effect for a circular laser sparking into ignition. One of you just opens your mouth and it just sounds like perfectly the real thing. All right, fair enough. Well played. Well played on this day. Um, we'll try again tomorrow. We'll see who wins. That's absolutely fine. Round one goes to you. That's okay. Can any of you actually do some quality verbal sound effects? Because I would love to be able to do that. Like, how good would it be if you had the power to make your voice produce any noise, replicate anything, imagine, imagine how you could mess with people. I mean, obviously being able to emulate other humans' voices can do a load of things, but even if you could just do stuff like, like, like a creaky gate, not a, not a uh, pterodactyl being strangled, but if you could do like a creaky gate and then somebody's near a creaky gate and they'd be like, oh, is the creaky gate opening? They'd look, no one was there. It's not. Oh, made you look. I mean, maybe you could, 
you could use it for greater things than that. Oh, get down! You know, like have actual gun sound effects. As much as I love proptosis and as much as that would have been an amazing item if this was a normal run, it would in fact ruin this completely because everything would just melt away. So, I'm going to have to say no. We'll do one more flow like this and then I'm going to pick up the final pair of items because I don't want to go mental on this because I do have a suspicion it will be entered into the game itself and then it's going to get a real synergy labbing, like a proper good synergy Synergy labbing, yes, in deed. But yeah, like, if you could do any kind of sounds. I mean, go on, what would you use it for? Right now, I've just granted you the ability. <gasps> now, that would be a giveaway that would go down in the history books, wouldn't it? Random YouTuber promises to give away literal superpowers, and all you have to do is, like, like his video or something. Technically speaking, in the future, when we can genetically engineer to a ridiculous level... Like and subscribe and you'll be entered into a giveaway to win one free any genetic mutation operation. You can get a tail, you can get some claws, you can get some night vision. Alright, I'll send it your way on the cheap and Gary the Doctor will let you know if your DNA is compatible. That could be a thing, right? Ten years time, guys, I'm gonna do a giveaway and the winner will receive claws or a tail grafted to their person on a genetic level. Huzzah! <laughs> I hope I survive that long. I don't mean on YouTube, I'm probably gonna die by then. I can't walk properly. Okay, so I am going to... You probably guessed it from my earlier hint, and by hint I mean I basically just told you earlier we are going to get some bombs. Yes, we are, because we do, in fact, have ourselves bouncy bombs. Like, look at that. Is that not awesome? Look at them go. Look at them go. It's just great. They just keep going and going and going forever. Though, of course, I do need to immediately get some of this because otherwise I am really in for like a lot of pain so we'll just do that but I'll grab Maggie's bow as well in fact you know while we're at it let's grab some cancer why not so yeah we just need to keep going and even if I just hold it forever they just don't care they just keep on exploding <laughs> they just keep on exploding now obviously obviously we can turn this up even more and grab some tear bombs. So, yeah, prepare yourselves for some, let's just say, quality bouncing, I think, is the way to go. Oh, what? Huh. Okay, I guess Tech X prevents the, the tear bombs from being a thing. Oh, that sucks. That really, really sucks. Oh, well, let's try and put bombs in our bombs. And then, why the hell not, we'll get ourselves, we'll get ourselves Bomber Boy. Oh yeah, look, bomb synergies are just blocked by Tech X being part of it. That's curious, that's very curious in fact. Interesting, just look at it rolling towards me. Like, isn't that just wonderful on so many levels? Like, irrelevant of, unfortunately, those bomb synergies not working now. It just is great. Like, this is something you've never seen in Isaac. A way of the items operating and interacting that just doesn't exist. And it just makes me so happy and blows my mind on so many levels that this is a custom item that someone has made. Like, this is genuinely a lot more interesting than most of the items in the game. And that's not anything against the game. You know, you have to have the boring to make the good even gooder. -er. But still, that's really quite something. I am a fan of... That explode, 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 explode. That's my uh, super villain song. You know, I didn't say it was creative, but it does at least get the point across. And I think that's the important thing here. Come on, keep on exploding. Keep on exploding. And there we go. All right then, Hush, let's see how you handle this. There might actually... No, I was going to say, there's a chance that I might die here, but then I realized I've got Red Hearts, Pyromaniac, and an infinite source of bombs, so I don't really see what I am that concerned about. Would this have been any good? Ooh, epic fetus. Part of me does kind of want to see if uh, 
Epic fetus band. No, epic fetus not. Let's not be ridiculous here. That wasn't on the list of things this interacts with, and I can probably understand why. Yes, my bombs. That's so weird, having bombs just act as tears like that. Like, it just looks great. It really does. Oh, I love it. And they all exploded. That's not good. Get the hush. Yes, I'm painting you in explosives. And, of course, they're godhead bombs, which is something that we don't see either on a normal basis. And just every time I let go, there's some explosions, some new ones. Obviously not terribly bothered about taking damage here, because I'm just going to keep healing it every time I explode. But that's okay. I wonder what would happen if I just legitimately... Ooh, that's what I can do. The only time I need to take damage, the only time I need to let go of the damage is the only time I need to actually let it bounce is when I take damage. And that just makes like a natural, this is the right time for this to happen. Oh, hang on. I just realized. Okay. Normal bombs are indeed working all right then that's i'm not even really sure what is happening but that is working that is definitely working so the bombs that i'm firing as tears don't actually count as bombs anymore that is interesting but then my normal bombs are just releasing a wave of everything so oh hang on if i do a normal bomb and keep holding Oh, it does work. Look. All right. Normal bomb. I'm going to hold. And then look. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that is glorious. That is glorious. That is, there's, no, there's no thrice ways about that. That is absolutely glorious. Oh, yeah. So the log thing, apart from, you know, accidentally making my... Uh, Housemates think that their house is burning down without telling them. <sighs> still so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. You remember that bug I told you about that was still alive after being baked in the oven for like an hour? Well, the next the next pot of coal was to drown it. The other option is to submerge the piece of wood in like a bathtub for like a day and make sure everything's good. So that's what I did. I submerged it, make sure it was all covered, and left it in the bath completely submerged until all oxygen was definitely used up for nearly three days. And then I took it out and I saw that, I swear to God, the same fucking insect crawling on top of it. Like it was taunting me. Like it was just there like... You've made a grave mistake because I am the immortal bug. Nothing can kill me. I judge the kindness of humans to see if they will let me live or attempt to murder me. In two days hence, I will grow to your size and I will consume you. I will consume you. You cannot burn me. You cannot drown me. You cannot freeze me. I am eternal. I am the bug lord. And I will dis- and then what he didn't realize is that he didn't specify that he can't be squished while he was still small. So I got away with that quite well. But goddamn, like hardy insect. Is that not cool that an organism can survive being ridiculously warm? Like, like imagine quadruple your body temperature. Like that, even a couple degrees is lethal for humans. Never mind quadruple your fucking body temperature. Surviving that and then also surviving being underwater without oxygen for nearly three days. Like, that is insane that something can even do that, and it's really, really quite ridiculous. But then again, he could do all that, and he can't even grow resistance to blunt force trauma. I mean, seriously, what a guy am I, right? Look at this! It's just so cool. Oh, it is absolutely fantastic. It really is. That's gonna explode. Got another cross, and then, yeah! Look at it all go. Alright guys, my name has been Rage. That has been your mod of the week. Like if you've enjoyed this and subscribe for more. A good boy. <laughs>